What is going on guys? Today we have got a big one. We have got team of the season Yannick Carrasco. This guy has just, I don't know what it is. He just always escapes me. I don't think I've done a review on any of his informs and yet I'm pretty sure yeah he's got two of them an 84 and an 86. I may have done the 86 at one point but his card looks solid. Four star, four star. Coming in at 340 at this moment in time. Right footed, high, low. We've got flair. No traits on the shooting, unfortunately. But look at them stats. Cracking pace, 96, 97. Shooting wise, looks absolutely fantastic. Passing looks brilliant. We've got highs, uh, high 80s. What high 80s, some 90s. Dribbling wise, great agility. Balance is up there to some extent. Um, we've got ball control reactions, dribbling, even composure. All very, very nice. Great stamina. Strength and aggression as expected for, okay, it's 5'11", I suppose. As expected to be a little bit lower for a faster player. Great jumping. And the chemistry style, we've gone with the finisher is what we've bought him with. That would give 97 shooting, 96 dribbling. But what people are recommending is that engine and i think that's mainly to work up that balance to get it from 81 to 91 obviously then you'd get 99 dribbling as well you'd end up with a 95 left wing whereas a finisher will give you a 94 and then obviously you do get the 99 pace and 94 passing with that engine so we will have a look at that in the second game first game we're going to go with the finisher see what this card can do he looks absolutely fantastic a very very either great super sub or obviously a nice starter depending on how your team's looking with the left mid i think he looks like a cracking card so let's just jump into him and hopefully score some goals with him into carrasco obviously we have got a right foot with him oh look at that dribbling yes i'm i'm feeling this card get that finesse <sighs> team of the season edison taking him out into Carrasco again we've got team of the season wan -Bissaka. he just runs at me i don't understand why Go with a little bit of a, a bit of a run. Go with the little fit. Okay, yeah, he read, he read that like an absolute book. I must admit that weren't the most impressive play of the world. Carrasco. Lovely. I, I like his dribbling already. He seems so quick on that turn. Look at this. Oh my god, yes. I'm, I definitely want this card. He is incredible on that dribbling. Reminds me very much of kind of the, the Sala sort of dribbling. He again was, was just cracked on that, that kind of D-pad. How has he managed to go past there? Hitting the post, jeez. But we are back to Carrasco, so that's always good. But yeah, his his dribbling reminds me very much of like a Sala. Very quick, very nimble. And just the, the kind of the pure pace you see straight away when you kind of just go. His acceleration. How has he kept that? Go with a little Lacroquetta. Keep him guessing. And then you just you just burn it. You just absolutely burn it and just whack it. <laughs> he just, I must admit, he's going to be a fun card to use. I feel like Super Sub has, has got his name written all over him. Because we've had so many left mids, if you've got a Rashford or if you've got, obviously, an Mbappe as a left mid, then th there is not necessarily a need for this card other than Super Sub. Go on, burn it with your left foot nearly. But... In general, so far, very, very happy with him. For 340 on the first day, with the chances of going down probably below 200, I'd say, there's very, very good chance of that. Mane, we see Carrasco on that run. There it is. Keep running. He's let the defender stray away, and that's got to be a free kick. I wonder what is this free kick's like. Carrasco, not, to be honest, not bad. What can we say? He was trying to move his keeper then. Is he going to move it back now? Okay. Let's go with a little up and over. Oh, yellow timed. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. He's absolutely perched it into the net there with the defender just coming. And I don't think he had enough time to get the head away. Absolutely sensational from him so far. And I can see what people are going to be talking about for ages with this card. We see him absolutely burn. one. Okay, wan is going to get him before I say it. Casemiro, lovely tackle. Crasco winning the battle against wan -Bissaka. What can we find? Oh, that's not the, the angle I wanted. That's got to be a free kick again. There is no way. And to Carrasco. I want to see what we can do on the edge of the box. Oh, I should have kept on running. Get it back into him. It's lovely. Lacroquetta into the finesse. 
Not 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 the greatest bit. Bit of a rush shot there. Carrasco doing what Carrasco does best. Running down a wing. Literally just wins it. He doesn't even necessarily even lose the ball. Like the ball either goes out of play and we get it again. Or he just goes for the shot or passes it away. Incredible stuff from him. Can we find a bit of a Matthias in here? Trying to find Carrasco. Okay, okay. I was not even, I don't think I've actually even used a skill move with him yet. Carrasco. Going to go with a little one-two. Seeing as though he doesn't know how to defend it. Always running forward. Carrasco is going to try and burn him. Oh, he goes for that tackle. I don't. Ah, I wanted the ball roll. Sometimes it does that. It just flicks it instead of rolling it, and that just literally always ruins the attack instantly. Because obviously, if you're trying to ball roll it, you're not got enough room to sprint for it. Really, into Carrasco. Wanted to see what his crossing ability is like. We can't really find anybody there. It's a lovely peach of a ball though. Back into him. It's the quick feet that do me. That is just beautiful to see. And he goes from behind. Why Carrasco doesn't fall over there. I know not necessarily the most sportsmanship in the world. But hey ho, it happens. Into Carrasco again. No. Oh, we're just running past everybody. Little roulette. And I don't get why that's not a foul. It goes, it, he turns around. Surely that's behind tackle technically. Carrasco hit the one time. Edison again. Thought we could probably get a little sneaker shot there. <laughs> Sneak attack. So then going into Carrasco's overall. 319. I think that was just one of them. Because at the minute I'm selling him at 340. And that is where he's staying at, at the moment. Just under 400 for the, uh, for the PlayStation. And 390 for the PC. So... He's incredible. <laughs> he genuinely is fantastic. The dribbling on him, the pace, the shooting, all mixed together is fantastic. Him with, what did we put him on? We had a finisher on him, I think, from to, to start with. And by God, he was incredible. I think the engine definitely is the way to go. Does make him into a 95 left wing. We did use him where he said, and he just is fantastic. If you can do the left stick dribbling, if you can do a little bit of skill moves with him, he's just got that ability. We made Team of the Season wan Basaka look stupid. Stupid. Granted, the opponent didn't really help too much there, but he was just fantastic. He's dribbling, like I say. I think the one thing that I noticed with him, the acceleration straight off that first kind of hit was so quick. It was lovely. And his turning is, again, very, very quick, very, very sharp. And that mixed with the right acceleration, you can really do some damage. Yes, he doesn't have um, the shooting traits which would have been absolutely perfect a finesse outside of the foot with him would have been incredible obviously he is what free for what to say 340 he will drop down if we do have a look at the prem just because i know them prices so if we have a quick look at some of these then so if we look at some of the average ones so jamie vardy to start with was about seven to eight hundred dropped down quite rapidly he's now 340 i think I think Ruben Diaz was about five, six hundred, kind of going into it. Kane's dropped down a lot, obviously. Mason Mount dropped down a hell of a lot. You can see that these players are just bound to drop down with these premium upgrades. You are more than likely going to pack quite a lot of them. Judging from the prem and kind of the weight, I'd expect Messi to be like Rashford. Very, very hard to get. I'd expect Benzema to be... Like a cane, to be honest. You may not get him all the time, but there'll be bursts of a lot of people getting him. Oblak, very much like Edison, going to be quite easy. Suarez will be up there with like the likes of Son. Varane, probably the same as sort of Rashford. Casemiro will be quite common. De Jong will be up there. Alba should be kind of like moderate. You're looking at like the Vardy. And I think these four here, and then possibly Lorente, will be the kind of Vardy to Mason Mount. They're not necessarily common, but they're not... Um, they're not uncommon either. So it's going to be interesting. I feel like the upgrade packs for these could be quite nice. I like the La Liga one so far. So hopefully we do get quite a few of them in. Carrasco for me, he, he would be a, a, a starting player. I think definitely could make a lot of starting teams depending on what you're doing and what you've got. Because if we do have a quick look at the players on the left mid left wing variety we have straight away can notice that you've got a lot of good players obviously Rashford and Son being the two big ones from recent if you didn't get any of them then obviously then you've got your chance you've got an informed Neymar 
again, a mill, still a lot to do. You've got a player of the month, Mbappe. You've got a future of a foot birthday, Sterling, a team of the season, Harvey Barnes. There is a lot of players in this position. And it's hence why I don't think everybody is that expensive. Because if you're looking at the top, top level, you're looking at a Rashford. You're looking at a Neymar. But Neymar, to be honest, team of the season inbound, that would be pretty sick. You're looking at Son. You're looking at Ronaldinho. You won't be going down to Carrasco if you have one of them untradeable. If you've got untradeable and you get this what guy, fair enough. Like, definitely untradeable. He is fantastic. But even if you don't want to use him as a starter, definitely super sub material. Last year, we only got a storyline, unfortunately. The year before, he did play in the Belgium League and got himself an 89. Year before, he did get a, what is that? That's an ultimate scream. We did have a 93 team of the season in FIFA 17. So he's been around the circuit. He's 27 and he's got a very, very nice card in this FIFA. So I would definitely not sleep on him. Dribbling, pace, shooting, absolutely fantastic. I would recommend 100%. I'm going to give him a 9 point six out of ten let me know down below if you're going to use him if you want him if you have him at this point of recording let me know down below make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you all for the next one pieces